Hey, what is up? My name is Citizen Meadow One, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the updates I've made to my MetaHuman Live VTuber rig. So the first thing that I've added to this is the ability to toggle auto eye look. And the way that this works normally with ARKit and Live Link Face in your phone is that you're just tracking your eyes and this is what I'm calling free look. So my eyes can just dart all around. I can look wherever I want. But what if I want to keep direct eye contact with the camera? It's kind of impossible. You can kind of cheat it, but really it's impossible to know where the virtual camera is relative to your phone. That's generally how I think about it. If we were in VR, we would be able to actually see the 3D camera that we're supposed to keep eye contact with. But again, with Live Link Face and doing 2D VTubing, that's not really possible. So what I've done is I've taken part of the control rig from the MetaHuman control rig for the face, and I've made a real-time version of it so that I can do this. Now, generally, uh, no matter where I turn my head, I can keep relatively close to eye contact with the camera. I actually wrote a mode where the face and the head would actually perfectly look at the camera too, but that looked really odd. I think that this version looks pretty nice. And while it's not always perfectly looking at the camera, it is currently better than this solution where I really have no ability to keep eye contact in any way that's natural. Um, so turning it back on, this at least gets me in the ballpark and then we can do convergence and some maybe some offsets. Because right now it feels like I'm looking a little bit below the camera. I'm able to shift that later, but this is the first version of my auto eye look for live VTubing. So the second thing that I've added to the system is the way that the hands are being simulated and solved. What you'll see is if I move my hands really quickly like this, that they actually have a little bit of bounce and settling and secondary animation that happens that I'm not doing in the real world. In the real world, my hands are pretty stable, but in uh, Control Rig, I'm basically using a Verlay node and that's allowing me to have a little bit of secondary animation that makes them kind of bounce up and down and settle. So if I move my hands very smoothly, the effect is uh, basically not there. It's really not noticeable. But it's really when I do something like this, like this, like, yes, yes. When I move my hands like this, you're gonna have a little bit of um, secondary animation. And this is especially uh, visible if I lock my hands like this, move them, and then let them snap back into place. So I'll lock them here, and then let them back out like this. And we have some nice snapping um, that is now smoothed out with a little bit of bounce that I think looks pretty nice. The third thing that I've updated is how the body is moving. And this is based on the head. And to show this better, I'm going to move my camera to the front. Um, something like here. You can see that my eyes are attempting to track it. It needs a little bit of an offset, I think. But uh, what I can do here is lock my hands, something like this. So my hands aren't moving now. And you'll see how my body is reacting to my head movement. So the primary panning back and forth of my head will move my body back and forth. And um, that gives it just a little bit of motion uh, where typically I'm working in something like this range. Uh, as from before, if I look up, my head will go up, and so will my body, and it will come down a little bit too. So these are the two primary axes. I can move up like this, and it's not meant to be moving like kind of robotically like that. It's more just like when you naturally move your head around that your body will kind of follow with some springing and dampening um, that's trying to make it look a little bit natural. The new thing that I've added today is the ability to roll like this. So this is new, a new addition. Um, I guess it's somewhat subtle, the difference between this side to side and this. But again, it's meant to be subtle. I'll take my hands back, boing, like that. And it's really just meant to give a little bit of like fun uh, VC face, live 2D style um, kind of anime animation uh, to kind of enhance the performance while you're really just tracking hands and then doing all the rest from your body. I'm sorry, from your head. So what I would normally do as a VTuber is I would take my hands and uh, lock them here, uh, zoom into a shot like that. And then now, even though my hands are locked, um, I do get some secondary uh, animation like this, the leaning and the turning and whatnot. And that's gonna happen even though my hands are down here. And right now I do have the eye tracking on 
and if I turn it off, it would look something like this, where we can kind of settle, but you'll pretty much never get perfect eye contact, and it's not like we need perfect, but it's kind of like really far off in a lot of cases. So when I turn it back on now, I just snapped it back on. This is going to give you close enough eye contact, at least for like Twitch and YouTubing and whatnot. For final animation, you might clean it up even more, but uh, I think it's looking pretty good like this. To make this an extremely long video, I'm gonna go even wider and show you that this is a full body solve. So I'm gonna release my hands like this, and I'll show you how the body is reacting to my head turns at the moment. So I'll keep my hands up. If I turn to the side, you'll see that my hips are actually moving a little bit like this. Um, if I go up, I go like this, and you'll see that my knees are actually bending, and I have a foot roll rig that I haven't added to this yet. And if I go side to side like this, uh, this is the motion that's actually happening uh, with my body. So this is my full body solve, but only being controlled from an iPhone and then three tracked points for my hands, essentially. And I have my elbows actually in this case, but we don't have to have elbows. So this combination of head driven body movement and kind of springy, springy looking hand movement uh, is the current state of things. And I can turn my eye tracking back on. And as I float back up over here, you can see that uh, even if I go up, my eyes are trying to track with the camera uh, while my head is still free movement. And if I come down here, that my eyes are indeed tracking with it. Um, I feel like I just need a little bit of a height offset. I'll just center back up. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, we have springy hands now that look especially silly when we do it that way. A slightly different body movement that is still getting tuned and could be user tunable ultimately. And most importantly, we have our eye locking feature. So this is free look again, and this is me locking my eyes to the camera. Uh, there's a couple more updates I'm gonna continue to do to this. Uh, I'm gonna add the foot roll to the feet for when we're really full body. Uh, a bit of an auto walk, though honestly, if we start doing this now with the side to side, it's it's uh, it's kind of getting the upper body there, but this will happen on its own if we want an auto dance and auto walk. But overall, I've been VTubing with this rig on Twitch. You can check me out there at twitch.tv slash citizenmeta1. I test this VTuber rig pretty much five days a week while I'm programming out the Meta One framework. So come check me out on Twitch if you want to see it live. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.